left Dubrovnik after a month long stay. A nice big uphill right off the bat. <laughs> Pretty tired. Yeah, not biking for an entire month was maybe a poor choice, but we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it happen. No regrets. Nice riding on the coast of the Adriatic here, headed into Montenegro and Kotor Bay. Okay, we made it into our eighth country. We are now in Montenegro. This little bike beach path, beach bike path, and a cool castle. Oh my goodness. Cutie little dog. up on a cold morning. Ah. How are you feeling, Andrew? Like I don't want to get out of my sleeping bag. Yeah. It's not even that cold. <laughs> Day two in Montenegro, up high on a nice uh, rural road. Jenny's pedal has begun to squeak again. I think this is the cold. Oh. Run through little Montenegrin towns, getting barked at by lots of bad doggies. This is one of our cooler campsites, right on the coast. Had to come down that single track over there. I fell a little bit, but uh, all in all a great campsite. Jenny's making it. Last night I was pushing through here and I fell down right where that, that spot is and this fence caught me. If the fence had caught me, I would have gone all the way down there. Oh. We're not always on nice back roads. Right now we're on a bit of a highway, climbing up a hill. Riding through Bar, headed up towards those mountains. That olive tree is 2,000 years old, and I'm not paying a euro to get any closer to it. That dog doesn't have to pay. It's not fair. Finally off the highway. Some nice riding up in the hills. Getting close to Albania. Well, this is one of our less glamorous campsites. Just kind of in a field. First day in Albania, first night in Albania, and uh, there are hunters and gunshots and dogs barking all night. So that was pretty, uh, it's mildly stressful. There's some gunshots that went off a little bit close. <laughs> no one really driving by at least, except that one person.
lots of very friendly drivers in Albania. So far, Albania has had a lot of trash on the roadside, but definitely the friendliest people that we've seen in a while. Lots of people giving us encouragement and saying hello and honking at us. Got some uh, goat defenders. This is probably our worst campsite. It's a main road right there. And uh... Definitely the worst campsite. <laughs> oh lord. It was Christmas Eve and we were trying to find a spot to camp. We ended up here. I mean at least no people came by to like bug us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to Tehran. Made it out of Tirana after a long, very hectic exit. Luckily there were a lot of bike paths, so it wasn't terrible. And now we're back in the countryside. Good old crazy Osman route. Oh, we got lost. And this kid is saving us by bringing us on a route through the trees. Very sticky mud. Ugh. Luckily that kid brought us out here to what looks like a uh, road that's going to work better. Turkeys are kind of terrifying. <laughs> made it through the mud, made it through the turkeys. Whew. Back on a paved road. Well, we're surviving Albania. It's been quite a challenge. Made it through fire, fear last night at dark and uh, found a campsite up in the hills. It's actually a kind of a nice campsite other than the fact that it smelled like burning sulfur or plastic all night. Not sure what that was about. Survived a couple days of rain and we're surviving the extremely bumpy traffic packed roads. This uh, is a nice break from it. Um, kind of just trash everywhere still, but uh, we're making it. It's been the most difficult country to travel through so far though, definitely. Sheep in an olive grove and a nice big mountain. Albania has improved 
dramatically in a very short period of time. And the road quality is actually nice for once. Found a nice wild camp. I'm out of breath. Just until it's pushing up this steep hill. We found a camp spot with a pretty nice view. It's um, at kind of high elevation, so it'll probably be kind of cold. Had a nice uh, end of the day climb to get here. It's always fun. <laughs> We were kind of tired and uh, pushed our bikes up a rocky little good path to get here, but it's a pretty nice spot. <laughs> Made up a big old climb first thing in the morning, it's like 3,000 feet of gain over like five miles. Now we have 3,000 feet of descent right back down to sea level. Well, after climbing all morning, we just went down the wildest descent of my entire life. Huge switchbacks coming down 3,000 feet in a couple miles. Brakes were really burning. Heading out of wild camp and we gotta abandon our adopted campsite doggy. We didn't have any food for him, so he's sad at us. Heading into Saranda. Um, we've been riding on this coastal highway for the past couple days, kind of through the mountains. It's been really beautiful. Um, yeah, great weather. Just really nice, nice riding to bring in the new year.